Hi guys and welcome to a short video today. I don't know if this is uh, uh, something that is going to be interesting. And I bet and I hope it's going to be useful. Um, it's a flop, um, something I bought from eBay for the reason that I wanted this specific cartridge to um, experiment a bit and create my own cartridges after all. But it is also something that um, I should have in my collection. This is a classic cartridge for Commodore 64, so uh, for whatever reason I can experiment, uh, create my own PCB, and then um, put everything back together and keep it. So I had another uh, um, cartridge, the clowns, and the dead cartridge because the uh, Super Games didn't work. It gave me this uh, black screen we hate to see. So I'll check the contacts um, by the naked eye and um, I cleaned the contacts and then I noticed something that um, it's uh, rather uh, uh, weird or strange as you can see on the clown's uh, uh, cartridge the contacts are clean, I have tested it, it works everything is fine so face if you uh, look at the contacts facing up uh, there is uh, one skip one uh, two and three contacts tied together uh, and um, the rest with some sequence um, and so I try to uh, look at the same uh, side of this cartridge and it's totally different of the this other cartridge and um, then I flipped it over and I saw one skip one two and three together but reversed like the PCB is uh, flipped inside the plastic cover could it be something like this I, will, I thought no it cannot be that easy there should be a knot or something a plastic to prevent you from doing so like placing the PCB uh, but the I don't know I, I put the um, dead test cartridge on and luckily the computer is not damaged and then I have decided to open the super games first and take a look at the PCB the way it is placed inside the uh, plastic uh, box and it was like this Face the, the, the cover I removed uh, was facing up of course and here is how the PCB was inside the uh, cover the plastic case unbelievable I checked the um, contacts nothing is damaged or resoldered or anything looks clear looks uh, pretty nice uh, it has two uh, ROMs because uh, it needs to hold more than 8k I believe it's 8 plus 8 uh, this side and that side and a um, couple of logic chips the multiplexing uh, the logic um, at the top of the uh, PCB and so let me put it back into the right position and see what happens and uh, of course I'm gonna do this without the case uh, first and then yeah see if it works like this uh, inserted properly and then I can call it a wrap hopefully without any damage again the one skip one three uh, and four uh, or two and three uh, together um, if you will is the right uh, way to look at the cartridge um, facing up and we have a success the cartridge works and um, hopefully didn't do anything bad to my poor little Commodore Stein the Commodore 64 that I have in the lab for testing purposes uh, is alive and I mean still alive after this um, <laughs> kind of test um, putting on the dead test cartridge again of course to check everything now if someone uh, would ask me to do this on purpose I wouldn't to be honest to jeopardize my C64 for uh, placing uh, for this experiment to, 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 to place the cartridge the other way around and uh, insert it uh, the other way around the way it should be I mean I wouldn't and now it just happened out of pure coincidence or um, uh, this uh, guy has sold me this um, uh, 
uh, cartridge and I didn't know I just plugged it in I was happy to have the cartridge after all and I never took a look at the contacts the way it should be and um, well it's useful now I know the way uh, it should uh, look and the way you can quickly identify uh, if the, the PCB inside the cartridge is placed the right way I guess and the second essential test again is to put on the clones again to see that we didn't fry anything by chance by any chance and um, yeah yeah I think everything is okay and this is the right way to look at the PCB the way uh, it should be inside the box uh, the ICs the, the uh, chips facing up and not the other way around couple of ROM uh, ICs holding the games uh, it's uh, Colossus Chess International Soccer and uh, Cyborg if I remember this right three games uh, wouldn't fit in 4K or 8K so we need two uh, ROMs as you can see here and uh, if you have ever seen another cartridge holds just one um, um, ROM for one game single game cartridges used to have just uh, one game one um, chip to hold for to 8k um, but the machine can address uh, 16k so this one can hold two uh, ROMs instead so that it's um, good enough for holding three games in total um, so yeah so far so good so lessons learned if you ever come up with a new cartridge uh, before you test it and you wanna quickly find out if uh, it is okay or looks okay and you have chances of getting it uh, up and running uh, just take a look at the contacts first to be clean uh, in order to make contact of course and the second thing is to check the sequence of the contacts like one skip one two and three tied up together uh, very quickly very uh, at a glance you can tell if it's not upside down inside the plastic box because as you could see these things can happen and apparently there is a rational explanation because uh, pin 1 the way you see it uh, from the Commodore side uh, is ground so it needs to be there at all times 2 and 3 are uh, plus 5 volts and again should be there at all times so that's a uh, that's quite some tip of course you don't have to do this out of curiosity we already know that nothing's gonna happen except it's going to give you the black screen um, but then again do not try this at home um, it was just informative and um, well, I'm lucky I didn't try my Commodore 64 today uh, but it's useful and keep it at the back of your head so you know how to test the cartridges at a glance. Thanks for watching guys, I'll be catching you soon with another video hopefully and um, yeah uh, consider subscribing I'll be there and um, yeah thank you very much for watching and uh, thumbs up and catch you later, bye.